वेलकम बैक टू ट्रैफिक सिग्नल डिजाइन इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल गो थ्रू ट्रैफिक सिग्नल डिजाइन ऑफ टू फेज बाय अप्रोक्सिमेट मेथड विद पेडेस्ट्रियन सिग्नल डिजाइन And the approximate method of the signal design is detailed described through the example. An isolated signal with pedestrian indication is to be installed on a right angle intersection with road A 18 meter width and road B of 12 meter wide. The heaviest volume per hour for each lane of road A and B are 275 and 225 respectively the approach speeds are 50 and 40 km per hour for road a and b respectively design the timing of traffic as well as pedestrian signal and based on speed amber time for road a is taken as four second and the Amber time for road B is taken as 3 second and based on pedestrian walking speed of 1.2 meter per second the clearing time for road A equals to 18 divided by walking speed 1.2 meter is calculated as 15 second and the clearing time for road B equals to 12 by 1.2 meter per second that is for the road A to clear the road by a pedestrian of considering the walking speed 1.2 meter the total time taken to clear the road section of 18 meter is 15 meter for road A and similarly for 10 second for road B and this is the clearing time for the road A it takes 15 minute 15 second and for road B it takes 10 second and add 7 second for initial work period then minimum rate time for road A for the traffic for the traffic for the road a for the, uh, then the minimum rate for the traffic for the road a will be the 15 plus 7 equal 22 second and for road b 10 plus 7 equal to 7 second and this is the initial that uh, 7 second is considered as the uh, pedestrian away from the road is from the 7 seconds should should clear the road at a traffic signal design for the pedestrian traffic signal that is the if the pedestrian is away from the edge of the pavement by seven seconds this should be clear in the pedestrian traffic signal that's why we consider seven seconds of working speed or uh, working period then minimum green based on requirement pedestrian requirement for road a equals to 17 minus 4 equal to 20 second and b 22 minus 3 equals to 19 second and this is the then the minimum green for the road a is the red time for the road b and this is the uh, green time for the traffic at road b whereas for the red for the red for uh, red for road a traffic and a green for pedestrian for road a and based on approach volume the green time calculated for the road a with higher traffic volume and by the using the relation g a divided by g b equals to n a divided by n b that is the uh, based on traffic volume green for road a and road b is adjusted and by considering the green time for b 19 seconds we calculate the green time for road a that is 22 23.2 second the total cycle length is calculated as G A plus A A plus G B plus A B and is calculated at 22 point as uh, for a 49.2 second and is rounded to 50 second. This additional period that is 50 minus 49.2 equals 0 0.8 second is distributed to green timing in proportion to the average volume traffic volume and therefore the calculated final green time for road A is calculated as 23.6 per second and for road B is calculated at 19 plus this relation and calculated at 9.36 therefore road 
rate timing for traffic for road A is the respective sum of the green time for road B and amber time for road B and is calculated as 22.36 seconds. Similarly, for a rate timing for road B is calculated as 27.64 seconds. Then design of pedestrian signal. Do not work period of the pedestrian signal at road A. That is a do not work period for the road E is the rate timing of traffic signal at road B. In this case, the do not work period for the pedestrian for the road A is the respective green time for road A as well as respective rate timing for road B. Therefore, do not work period for the pedestrian for the road A is equals to RB that is the 27.6 per second. Similarly, for the do not work period for the road B is equals to rate time for road A equals to 22.36 second. Then a pedestrian clearance interval for road A is road A is 15 second and for road B is 10 second. Therefore, work period is calculated from the total total cycle length. That for road uh, for a road A pedestrian cycle length. Work period equals to 15 minus and calculated as 7.36 second and and this is the traffic signal traffic uh, traffic signal design for the road A green for the traffic and respectively red timing for the tra uh, pedestrian for the road A and the respective time is equals to the red for the traffic at road B and a green for road for the traffic pedestrian now phase design or the phase diagram for road a green time is 23.64 second amber 4 second and a green one is calculated as 22.36 second if the if the for road a the traffic signal green and amber time is respectively equals to the green timing for the pedestrian traffic for the road A that is the red timing for the traffic in road B and similarly for the red timing for the road A will be the red timing for the pedestrian at the road A and the respective time is equals to green timing for traffic at road B and the red timing for pedestrian for the road B and this is the video showing the traffic signal design with green time for road A and red time for road B similarly for the road B green time red time is 27.6 per second and green equals 19.3 and MRT is 3 second and similarly in this case also the red time for a road B is respectively equals to work period for the road A and this is the video showing the red timing for road B and road A and the uh, green time for the road A and respectively time is equals to the red timing for the road B and the green time for the pedest green time green time for the traffic for the road B now please like share and subscribe my channel for the more lecture tutorial and solution and your comments will be highly appreciated thank you